Once all of the PCB design iteration schematic and layout work is complete, the next step is to generate all of the source, fabrication, and assembly data required to release, archive, and manufacture a board revision. While it may seem as if all of the hard work is complete, now comes the critical task of correctly generating all manufacturing output and archiving the revision of the design source documents. Without automation, generating and keeping all of these documents organized per release snapshot can be challenging. Here is where the project releaser can automatically generate a complete snapshot of the board revision and save all of the design source, fabrication, and assembly documents to the A365 server in one push-button process. The project releaser uses output job files to generate all fabrication and assembly data. An Altium Designer project can support any number of output job files, but typically one for fabrication documents and one for assembly documents is sufficient. So here I have one output job file dedicated for fabrication outputs and another output job for assembly outputs. The output job files include user-specified selections of which types of documents to generate and all document-specific settings. These saved selections and settings ensure that a consistently formatted set of documents will result for each board revision. Output job files can also include validation checks for BOM errors, component status, configuration compliance, board DRC errors, schematic PCB differences, electrical rule errors, and PCB footprint differences relative to the library. Should any errors occur during the project release, the project releaser prevents the release from proceeding until all errors are resolved. Using the project, project releaser command initiates the release process. The resulting project releaser panel displays multiple sections listing the design source data, fabrication data, assembly data, and assembly data per manufacturing variant to be generated and archived as a full release snapshot. Also displayed are the six steps of the release process, which are configure server release, validate project, generate data, review data, and upload data. The fabrication and assembly output job files control their respective sections in the project release panel. The linkage between a specific section and the out job file is a one-time user-defined setup. At this point, you can modify the configuration or change the name of the release snapshot. Next, after completing the configure server release step, click on the prepare button to generate output. Validation checks are performed first. Should you encounter any errors, the release process will halt. Once all validation checks have passed, the generation of the output begins. Upon completion of the output generation, any individual output type can be viewed and inspected. Once satisfied with the generated output, the source, fabrication, and assembly documents are saved to the server by clicking the Release button in the lower right corner of the Project Releaser panel. A complete revision snapshot of the release now exists on the A365 server. Separate revision source, fabrication, and assembly zip files exist for easy sharing with manufacturers or contractors. An execution report details a list of all generated files. You can share the manufacturing release snapshot with a manufacturer through the web interface. Similarly, you can share any design or release data 
with specific internal or external collaborators. Here, I'll click on the latest release snapshot and then click on Send to Manufacturer. Next, I'll configure which zip archive files I want to send. I'll provide an email address and done. The files are now on their way to be fabricated and assembled. As you have seen, the project releaser can automatically generate a complete snapshot of the board revision and save all of the design source, fabrication, and assembly documents to the A365 server in one push-button process.